Hello and welcome to Video Jug. I'm diving instructor Simon Bell. I'm going to show you how to skin dive. Breath hold skin or free diving is a great way of taking snorkeling to the next level. Perhaps you want to take a closer look at the colourful fish beneath you, or maybe you love the feeling of floating in inner space. For whatever reason, skin diving will take you below the surface of the sea and back up again on one single breath of air. Make sure you're a confident swimmer before undertaking any water-based activity. Step 1. You will need the following equipment. A hood, if diving in cool or cold water. A mask. A wetsuit, again if diving in cool or cold water. A weight belt, with a quick release buckle and lead weights. A pair of fins. Booties, if wearing adjustable fins. You may also need a snorkel, an inflatable snorkeling vest for added safety. Step two, prepare and don the equipment. It's absolutely essential that your equipment fits comfortably. Why not watch the video jug guide to snorkeling to learn how to select and wear the right kit. In addition, you may want to wear a weight belt because you'll be buoyant when underwater holding a breath. Thread some lead weights onto the belt and make sure they're secure. Use lead weights that weigh about 5% of your overall body weight if wearing just swimwear or a thin shorty. If diving in a full length or thicker wetsuit, use 10% of your weight. A weight belt with a quick release buckle can be released and dropped very quickly if you get into trouble in the water. Step 3. Practice the dive. The pike dive is a head-first surface dive that gets you underwater and heading downwards with the least amount of effort. Let's take a look at that again. Float in the face-down position. Bend forward at the waist and thrust your head straight down. At the same time, lift your legs above the surface as if you were doing a handstand. As soon as your fins submerge, start to kick. Step four, hyperventilate. Try hyperventilating to stay underwater longer. It lowers your body's carbon dioxide levels and tells your system to resist the urge to breathe. Take a sharp breath in and exhale slowly, emptying your lungs entirely of air. Do this three times. Then finally take a full breath in and dive. Hyperventilating can lead to serious injury caused by hypoxia or shallow water blackout if you don't do it right. Do not excessively hyperventilate. Step five, equalize your ears and mask. Water, as you probably know, is heavy. This causes an increase in pressure underwater that squashes your air spaces. It's vital, therefore, that you equalise air spaces such as sinuses and ears to avoid discomfort. To equalise as you descend, pinch your nose closed and blow gently against your pinched nostrils, much like you would when popping your ears when flying in a plane. Equalise every metre or few feet before you feel pain or discomfort. You also need to equalise your mask to avoid painful mask squeeze. Simply breathe out through your nose into the mask whenever you feel it tighten around your eyes and nose. Step 6. Perfect your finning style. The key to getting most out of skin diving is to relax. Finning efficiently and moving slowly will give you longer bottom time. Try not to use your arms while underwater. This only uses more energy and more oxygen. Use the scissors style kick, which is where you kick from the hips with your knees slightly bent. Step 7. Clear your mask. Mask flooding can be a normal part of skin diving. It can happen at any time. To clear your mask, simply tilt your head back and hold the top of the mask against your forehead. Just as I'm showing you right here. Exhale through your nose into the mask. As you do this, the air pushes out the water through the bottom of the mask. Step 8. 
Skin dive. Start off by skin diving in a swimming pool or calm water, perhaps by a busy beach with little or no waves. Stay close to the shore so you can get out of the water quickly and easily whenever you need to. And that's how to skin dive the video jug way.